All right, guys. We got a lot of new Xander uh, Car spoilers. Um, first one, another quest card. It's blue. Costs one blue. Whenever uh, cards put into graveyard, may put a quest counter on quest for ancient secrets. Move five quest counters from quest for ancient secrets and sacrifice it. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. Uh, it seems like a one drop reminisce, but you have to wait at least five turns for stuff to go into a graveyard. Uh, so, yeah, reminisce is still a better car because if an opponent has uh, things in their graveyard that they're getting bonuses for, totally just muff them up and say, Good day to you, sir. Yeah, but this only works for you, so we'll see. Um, another new card, uh, uh, Wind Rider Eel, costs three and a blue, it's a fish, flying landfall, whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, Wild Wild Wonder Wind Rider Eel gets plus two, plus two until end of turn, uh, and it's a two, two, so four, for two, two, yeah, becomes a four, four, at the cost of a land, playing a land, so it's pretty. It's kind of good. I mean, you have to wait till like fourth turn. So, but it does have flying, which is an upside because not many people anticipate flying, and when they do, they sideboard it. So, yeah, amazing card, Scythe Tiger. Cost one green. Shroud. When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you sacrifice the land. So first turn, you have a 3-2 at the cost of sacrificing the land you use to tap it. Tap to uh, pay, play it. Um, second turn, you swing for at least 3. If you're playing green-red, then you'd probably already hit him down to 14 that turn. Uh, another ally card. Uh, Marasa Pyromancer costs four and two red. Uh, whenever it or another ally you control uh, enters the battlefield under your control, you may have uh, Marasa Pyromancer deal damage equal to uh, damage to target creature equal to the number of allies you control. So if you have like three allies, kill off a three three or something. You know, it's. Pretty decent. I mean, start killing off their field. I mean, if they were to make ally tokens, you know, like an ally token deck, then I could see that being really useful. Um, Hunter of Halos, Iona Shield of uh, Ameria. Uh, two cards revealed the other night, or la last night actually, uh, but right after I had done all my spoilers for last night, so. Yeah. Hunter of Halos is 2 and 3 black. It's a demon. Intimidate. Can't be blocked. It only can only be blocked by uh, artifact creatures or creatures that share a color with it. It's a 6-3. Uh, so basically it has fear because it's black. But um, I'm sure Intimidate will be on other cards as well. Um, when it enters the battlefield, destroy target angel. Ayana Shield of Maria costs six and three white. Legendary creature angel, uh, flying. And when it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Your opponents can't play spells of the chosen color. It's a seven seven. Seven seven flyer for nine mana, and you lock down their deck if it's a monocolor deck. That's pretty good, guys. That is pretty good. Um. Another card that I skipped over by accident because of time restraints, uh, Kalitas Blood Chief Get. Uh, three tap, destroy targeted uh, creature. If a uh, creature is put into a graveyard this way, put a black vampire creature token onto the battlefield. Its power is equal to the creature's power and its toughness is equal to that creature's toughness. Um, it's a 5-5. Five, five. It costs five and two black, so it's it's pretty decent. Um, I really wouldn't play with it. 
but I mean that's me. So all right, guys. Last spoiler for tonight. You guys remember Fetchlands? Those wonderful magic cards that made you pay three life just to get out a two three cur date? Because I do. And <laughs> they brought them back. Only this time they're the enemy colors. Arid Mesa. Um, 